good morning this is rishali and today's topic is b tree okay in my previous video we learn about avl tree red black tree and threaded binary tree okay this all are binary search tree but b tree is not a type of binary tree so let's see what is mean by b tree okay first why we use b tree okay in uh, other binary search trees like avl red black tree each and every node we can store only one value right and it has maximum two children but in b tree we can store more than one values in one node and it has more than two children this is main difference between binary search tree and b tree there is huge amount of data we can store in main memory right but sometime amount of data is high then data is read from the disk in the form of blocks okay so disk access time is very high as compared to main memory access time so at that time we used b tree b tree reduced number of disk access time okay so search insert delete max min this all kind of operation is depend on height of tree right and height of tree is big o h so b tree is a fat tree means in one node we can store multiple values according the order of tree so height of b tree is kept low by putting maximum possible keys in one node so this is a concept of b tree and that's why we use b tree so what is b tree b tree was developed in year 1972 by bears and mc kright with the name height balance mv search tree okay m means order but later it names becomes b tree b tree is a self balanced search tree every node contains multiple keys okay keys means values and it has more than two children so number of keys in a node and number of children for a node it depends on order of b tree every b tree has an given order see here this is just example of b tree here order of b tree is 4 okay it means that you you need to store minimum 1 to maximum 3 values in one node see here this node contains two values this node contains three values okay so, and all the values can be stored in ascending order or in the sequential form so this is the structure of b tree clear okay now properties of b tree okay when you generate a b tree you must follow this all properties of b tree so first property all leaf nodes must be at same level second all nodes except root node must have at least m minus 1 keys and m minus m divided by 2 minus 1 keys means order is 3 so you need to store maximum two values in that particular node all non leaf node except root node it means internal node must have at least m divided by 2 children if the root node is non leaf node then it must have at least two children next property a non leaf node with n minus 1 keys must have n number of children and all the key values in a node must be in ascending order okay so how exactly these properties are work we will explain by example so next operation okay. is insertion so how we insert data in binary tree these are the some steps so how exactly these steps are work i will explain through example see here okay this is example of insertion in binary tree the given example is construct a b tree order 3 by inserting numbers from 1 to 10 okay it means that we generate a tree from 1 to 10 and order is 3 okay so first step when order is 3 it means that we can store maximum m minus 1 keys in one node okay means 3 minus 1 equal to 2 in one node we can store two values maximum two values clear so this by, that's why we use order okay so see here first step is to insert one initially tree is empty so we create one node that is one okay and it act like root node next step insert two okay so two is greater than one so we can sequentially uh, added two in that same node okay because the property of b tree one node contains multiple values okay so it stored maximum two values because order is 3 clear okay next next step to insert 3 okay 
now this is existing node okay and we need to insert 3 but when we insert 3 3 it becomes overlap okay because the maximum two values are stored in the one node okay so at that time you need to split this what is mean by split at the time of splitting the middle node okay which is the middle node 2 so 2 becomes root and 1 becomes left child and 3 becomes right child see here after splitting the b tree is generated in this way middle node becomes root node and 1 and 3 clear when overlap is occur you need to split and splitting means middle node becomes root node clear next step to insert 4 where we insert 4 after 3 sequentially so you insert 4 is here clear next added next step to insert 5 okay where we insert 5 here after the 4 but it becomes overload okay it becomes overflow because in one node you can store maximum two values okay because order is 3 so at that time the middle node becomes root node so 4 goes to as parent node and it stored values in this node okay now this tree is generated see here 2 4 is a parent node 1 3 and 5 after splitting this tree is generated clear next insert 6 where we insert 6 after 5 you need to insert 6 clear next so next insert 7 okay where we insert 7 after 6 but it becomes overflow because in one node only two values are stored because order is 3 clear so at that time the middle node it becomes root node okay but see here when 6 becomes root node it goes to here okay 2 4 and 6 again it violates the property because in one in one node only two values are stored so again middle node which is the middle node after inserting 6 here which is the middle node 4 so 4 becomes again root node clear so this tree is generated see here 4 becomes root node 2 and 6 and others are leaf node understand ok next you need to insert 8 where we insert 8 after the 7 ok so you insert 8 here and this tree is generated next at that time you insert 9 so where we insert 9 after the 8 ok so 6 8 and 9 so uh, this is directly we can uh, generate a b tree when we insert 9 uh, the 8 becomes root node ok and 9 becomes leaf node after that you need to insert 10 where we insert 10 after 9 so 10 insert here clear so you just if tree is empty then you create one node if tree is not empty then insert node according the sequence ok so if overflow is occur when overflow is occur more than three values are stored in same node ok because order is three so you need to store maximum two node two values in one node clear so when overflow occur you need to split this tree what is mean by split the middle node become root node clear so this is a concept of binary tree now application of b tree so it reduce number of reads from the disk b tree also easily optimized to adjust the size according the disk size it is a special design technique for handle bulk amount of data or large amount of data b tree is most useful algorithm for database and file system so good choice is when you have large amount of data or large blocks of data so at that time b tree data structure is used for storing data there are some important okay. questions which mostly asked in SPPU exam pattern. This is all about B tree. So keep practicing and try to solve more examples.